Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about application security checklist in Pega. Let's get started into the topic. Generally, once we are done with development, SAT testing and UIT testing, we would be promoting our application to production. So while promoting to production, we should be aware that we should follow some guidelines and we should deploy the code and we should be aware of security concerns as well for our application so where do you check like what are the steps or what are the tasks that needs to be done before we are into production so just as a best practices we would be seeing whether uh, the jar contains all the rules and all but not only that server side of there are some configurations that as a lead you have to be aware of so Pega provides a security checklist which helps us in deploying the applications with security and so this helps us to reduce the rework of our application deployment process and development process. So once you log into the application as a developer you can see here security status. Here see there are 0 out of 39 tasks that are completed. So if you click here application guides a new window will be opened and see here you can see there are 39 tasks that needs to be completed for our application security checklist and this is our 10 tasks as a application guide creation and suppose if you have agile studio integration there are 10 tasks that are available first let's open this here if you see there are around 39 tasks and they are divided into different areas like uh, see who is responsible for this and these core tasks these are all the different tasks that are there and these are additional tasks there are around 12 tasks in the additional task so and uh, suppose you are deploying uh, your code to pega cloud environment then these are three tasks suppose if you are not deploying on pega cloud and you are using amazon web service or azure there are six Task. So these are the different tasks that are available for our application that as a lead you are responsible and you have to discuss with your architect as well. Where does these application guides and everything will be there? So you go to app explorer and you can see this class rule application guide. Just open instances of it. You can see here additional security checklist, SL studio integration and application guide creation. These three are part of uh, Pega application and this is the rule set, Pega app definition. Further, just you go to your uh, application and in the application, uh, built on application Pega rules and here you can see the rule set. This rule set should be there to use this feature in Pega. Next, as I have said, this is the OTB class and if you open this PX application security checklist, you can see the tasks that are there that what we have seen and you can see on settings, it's a, like a paragraph rule and this is the paragraph that is already there. This is a final rule and it's internal. Here you are clicking on application guide side. Right? So this is the exact section and it would be calling an activity and activity will be opening this stream rule which is nothing but section this is the section and there is another class you should be aware of pega application guide work here individual tasks will be there so if you open this Pega app security checklist, this is actually a work object. So that work object we are just opening over there. So, so these are the work objects. So these work objects we are opening over there. And there is a page list called as D underscore PZ guides list. So this only we are seeing in a repeated dynamic layout. This is the technical implementation of this particular security status. Just click on this. 
now i'm clicking on security checklist so if i'm sure that this has been done if i click you can see status is three percent now i have selected another thing so it changed to five percent so in this way you have to read each and every task and you have to make sure that you have configured that and you did not miss anything suppose you got a query like for example uh, what is this appropriate encrypt data just click on this it will route us to pdn or the respective article where you can learn about it so in this way pega gives us feature to have a checklist and to get the knowledge of the security checklist as well suppose this is dynamic system settings like not application specific this is like a on the whole server specific or something so you can see the purpose and security setting and i would be providing a particular link in the video description where you can go through this security checklist and you make sure to complete all those tasks and you make sure that you know about uh, backend knowledge as well while deploying the application to production so that you won't miss anything hope you check your application guidelines and uh, you have learned a new concept today just you try and see in your application as well about this task that uh, completed and status and comment your experience in this video thanks for watching this video please share subscribe and like the videos